Greetings in the name of the Creator, the Most High Jah Rastafari, ever living, ever faithful, ever sure. We face a crisis. Human beings today face the greatest threat to our survival that we have ever faced. We face the destruction of the life support systems that we depend on to exist. Look around you. The world is awash with toxic chemicals that we continue to manufacture. We plunder the sea. We pollute the air. We pillage our forests. And in the face of massive climatic disruption, the leader of what is arguably the biggest empire this world has ever seen refuses to do anything about it because it will hurt his business interests. Western industrial society is addicted to fossil fuels. We are junkies to the crack pipe dream of consumerism. Genetic engineering just increases the risk. Hunger and famine stalk the poor while we deliberately poison the food that the rest of us eat with herbicides and pesticides. We continue to destroy our most important source of strength, which is our communities. We cannot go on like this. We cannot continue. All around the world, people are waking up to the reality that we must change. We must change at a fundamental level and we must change now. Now, now, now. It is about re-examining what it means to be a human being. We cannot continue to see ourselves as separate, see our Mother Earth as an object put there for us to exploit. We are part of this planet. We are made from this planet. We eat, drink and breathe this planet. There is no separation. Aotearoa is unique in our ability and our potential to make change. We can be an eco-nation if we have the courage to take a stand, to decide for ourselves what kind of country we want to be, what kind of country we want to leave our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. must learn to say enough so that all can have enough. If we want to survive, we must create a society that is truly built on justice, on non-violence, on true democracy, and on ecological wisdom. Yes, this is political. Everything you do is political. Where you shop, what you buy, how you travel... These are all political decisions. Right now, people are being tortured and murdered for demanding their right to vote. But this is about more than just how you vote.